What's up everyone, 3 print 747 here, back again with another video. Um, so this is the Spider-Man 2099 mask. This is the front part. I'm printing the back part on the bamboo. This wouldn't fit on the bamboo. Um, I'm gonna probably give that away. Uh, maybe if I get to 200 subscribers, um, I might just do like a random pick and send it to somebody if y'all want it. This one is going to be white and it will have the red perloid uh, glass, like I guess that, but red perloid around the eyes and the eyes will be see-through. They'll be, um, I guess, have holes in them. Um, that's what we're going for here. So yeah, this is a... Um, 13 hour print, I think. Let's see what the back of this looks like. That looks really good. So hoping that the Cobra 2 Max can keep up and keep the quality just as good. I used the Anycubic Slicer. I didn't have any luck with Orca. Um, when I went to export this, it crashed. Um, so not sure what's going on. I'll deal with that later. But um, right now, I mean, that lay down layer looks really good. So we'll uh, see what happens here in another day. I'll uh, report back and let you know what happens. All right, so I've got the back of the Spider-Man 2099 helmet printed on my P1P, that's finished. I've got the front of the mask on the Cobra 2 Max. That's got 64% done. So it's been going, I guess that means 16 hours. Uh, I just have to figure out that display. That means. And then I've got the eyes of printing on the P1S in red. Um, so I've got all the machines working today. Um, let's see how this turns out. Just the weird tree supports. Max to the quality of the P1P when that's finished um, and we'll see how easy the supports are to pop off compared to the tree supports on the P1P. Let me tell you right now they're just gonna pop right off. They're pretty easy. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be back in a little while probably tomorrow which you'll see all of this in one video so it's not gonna matter but stay tuned. The eyes are done, they look good, break off the supports, and report back when this is finished, it's getting close. We'll be back soon, I'm really curious about these supports. I used the, the any cubic slicer, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Um, and I did change the 0.3 millimeter top Z offset. Um, it kind of had auto fill-ins in that box, so hopefully it took. Um, otherwise, they might be a little difficult to pull off the model here. We'll see. So, let you know in a little bit. All right, let's continue this uh, Spider-Man 2099 print. So, I reprinted the eyes because... The ones that I printed flat, I didn't turn on adaptive layer height. And you can kind of see how they look there. I don't like that. So what I did was stood them up. And they 
it looks so much nicer. So it's all about the positioning. These uh, supports are going to break off super easy. It's 3.4 top Z layer height. You can see them just break them right off. I'll take the um, razor and just kind of go along that to clean that up a little bit. If that isn't meant to be like that, I'll have to look now. Now I can feel it's not supposed to be like that. So, not a big deal, but these turned out so much nicer. Again, trying to get you in the light there. So much nicer than laying them down on their back. And I've got the eyes here. And these should pop off easily as well. I stood them up. Probably should have painted them on myself and just did the top. We'll see how these turn out. And if they're garbage, I'll just reprint them. I mean, they're fast print. And I'll just do uh, painted on supports at the top. Um, you can see it doesn't really sit on an angle. So it probably didn't need those supports. But I have a feeling that it was trying to support the different holes in the print. And that so we'll see once I peel these off we'll see how it goes and then the Cobra Max the ugh, ugh, this thing is stand. I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. There we go. Oh, it looks like they're breaking off easy. And supports. Yeah, they're coming off really easy. Man, I'm really happy with this print. Give me a second. I'm going to take you over to the light. So here's the top from the Cobra 2 Max. with how that looks I mean, that's a really really nice print um, I've got some of these little support pieces that I got to pop off of here I don't know why it tried to put supports in midair that's the any cubic slicer but they're popping off easy so they're not gonna be a big deal I'm not gonna paint this helmet I'm gonna leave it white and then I am going to uh, use the red eyes um, like that, but the ones that I printed standing up on it, um, put magnets in. We'll go through that process in a little bit. But compared to the bamboo, so this is the, this is from the Cobra. This is from the bamboo. No difference in my opinion, other than the squirrely little supports that I gotta pop out. There's one right there. Um, again, I don't know why the any cubic slicer decided to put them in there, but not a big deal, especially I think that I um, chose to only put supports on the print pad, but uh, maybe not. Um, but I'm really happy with, with how this turned out. Infill or infill top. I'm not worried about. I didn't use supports and that is expected, but no one's going to see that. So not a big deal. Um, I may throw some Bondo up there just to clean it up, but maybe not. Who knows? Um, I do have some weird. Little trees growing weeds growing on the side. I'm not really sure what that is, but they pop right off. So, I don't know. If y'all have used the any cubic slicer and have seen that, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Um, the 
ports. I'm trying to pop them off. Um, but they're coming off pretty easy. You can see this one right here. Um, you just kind of peel them right off. So shouldn't be a big deal to, to get them off of there. Let me um, go ahead and put it on the stand and we'll see. All right. Here are the supports from the um, bamboo. Point three four tubs the height. You can see how easy they are to come off. They didn't leave any marks at all. So we can go around here and you can see how easy these just pop off. So nice, right? So that's a little kludgy, but that's the back and nobody's gonna see that. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of sandpaper on that. Not a huge deal. Um, that print turned out really nice. And again, the supports popped right off. So now here are the supports, the auto supports from the any cubic slicer. And they're popping off pretty easy too. They're not attached. They're leaving a little bit of a mark. I think more than the bamboo slicer did, honestly. Um, not everywhere. I mean, that looks fine. But they're definitely harder to pull off than the tree supports. Um, I couldn't find tree supports on the any cubic slicer. So any cubic, if you're watching this, uh, get tree supports integrated ASAP. There goes that. Yeah, I mean, they're popping off pretty easy. So not a big deal. There's just more of them because they're not... Don't want to break the helmet, but I mean that looks nice. I have no problem with that. I'm impressed. Again, I did change the um, top support on the in the any cubic slicer to be um, 0.3. Instead of 0.2, which it says 0.2 is detachable. But in my opinion, 0.2 is sometimes detachable. Sometimes it's not. And I've had more times that it wasn't detachable. So I always go to a 0 0.3, 0 0.34, something like that break the supports off easier but I did want to test the any cubic slicer so that's why I just went to 0.3 instead of 0.34 which is what I use in bamboo studio but I mean overall these popped off really nice um, this back is somehow gonna attach back here like that I guess um, it's kind of hard to see but it'll go like that. Um, I'll take you through all that, doing the magnets and everything. Um, just need to clean up a little of these wonky areas that got supports that shouldn't have. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm impressed with the uh, Cobra 2 Max. I have no complaints about that at all. That is a nice looking print. It took, let me see how long it took. Ah, I turned it off. I think it took two and a half days. Maybe two days. Um, not a long time, but I also did a 0.16 layer height. So I wanted to make sure that 
it took its time and didn't screw anything up, didn't print too fast. I slowed it down from normal speed to the slower 50% rate. Um, I had meetings today, so I wanted it a little quieter, and that definitely helped out with the noise because the October 2 Max is a noisy printer just sitting there. Um, when those fans kick on, man, it's like a jet engine is sitting there in your office. But whatever, I mean, is what it is. So anyway, yeah. Cobra 2 Max print. P1P print. I'm digging the Cobra 2 Max. And then again, let's show these just to make sure that we could see. These are the prints that I stood up on the P1S. Off these supports, you can see how easy they're popping off. That's again the 0.34 Z height. Um, got a little mess up right there, not sure what happened. I did auto supports, so maybe I don't know what happened. Shouldn't be a big deal. Can kind of clean that up a little bit, shouldn't be able to see it, but again. Here's the P1P uh, standing up, and here's the P1P laying down, and you can see the ringing right there because I didn't use adaptive layer height. Whenever you're doing a flat surface and you want a clean top layer, always enable adaptive layer height, or else you're going to have that ringing looking right there, and then you have to finish it with spot putty or whatever you uh, use wood filler to get that filled in and it's kind of a pain. Now I don't have to go that route because you can see how clean that looks and all I have to do is paint it, sand it, paint it, and be done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, please hit that like button um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, YouTube likes to know who's watching what, and I think hitting the like button lets them know that you're liking the videos, you're watching the videos, and getting something out of them. If there's anything you want to see in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Um, or if you have any tips or tricks, you know, hit me up in the comments as well. But I appreciate you all watching. Thank you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.